Santa's sleigh. Yes, today we are making one of the most famous whips of all time, Santa's sleigh. And guess what? I slayed this cake. Hello, my name is Calvin Klein. Let's get started. I love the way this cake turned out. I was so excited. I've been excited since last year when I created this cake. I didn't have time to post it, but today I do. Let's create this cake. I'm starting off with my PVC pipe system, but because this is a really sort of long cake and the sleigh is not actually on the cake board, I'm using two PVC pipes, one to support the back and then the other to support the front. If you want an in-depth look at how I create my PVC pipe system, there's a video for you in the description box. You'll have all the tools and then some. So I have my pipes, my pipe couplers, and I'm just gluing on a cake board to support the bottom of my sleigh. Now let's get to the making of this baby. That is ridiculous how much I would wear all that gold if I could. To create this cake, I am starting with a huge, probably, I think this is a nine by 13 inch cake. I don't know, it's been so long. And then just cutting it into a rectangle to create the cake. Ooh, I don't have the exact measurements anymore and I can't read what is on that ruler. So I don't really know. <laughs> that looks like five by seven inches though. It does, but I'm guessing. <laughs> This is what happens when you run out of time and then you have to look at the footage a year later. <laughs> so the bottom cake, I'm using a full rectangle and then to create the tops, I'm just creating them in pieces, adding some buttercream in between each layer, and stacking three layers high. Ooh, this does not look stable. <laughs> oh my god, the more that I look at this, the more that I'm kind of scared about I feel like the back is gonna collapse. The icing's too loose. This needs to go into the refrigerator. Okay, it seems pretty stable. I'm giving it a crumb coat and just making sure that I seal in all of the crumbs so that they don't appear on the next layer of fondant. Because sometimes I mess up, I gotta pull away the fondant and I don't want a whole bunch of brown crumbs just everywhere. Now I gave my cake a crumb coat, placed it into the fridge to set up, and then I added on my first layer of fondant, which is this very vibrant red. This is like a Santa Claus red. Now I wanted to make this cake right after I created the Cinderella carriage cake that I have. If you haven't seen it, Whoa, it is stunning. And this cake was actually based off of Vivian Pham's cake, which she does a way better Cinderella carriage. So I have one panel of fondant to create the top of my sleigh. And then I'm gonna use two panels to cover the sides. And I'm just painting some magic sauce onto the sides of my cake so that it holds up this side panel. I was scared, man. I didn't know if this was gonna work, but it got really tacky and it stuck perfectly. Probably had to hold it there for a few seconds just so it wouldn't fall down. Then I added the front of the sleigh. Now this was a piece of fondant that I added some CMC to and I just rolled it out and let it sit overnight so that it would hold its shape. Uh, I don't like the way it looks from the front, but I'm gonna cover that up later. For now, we're gonna work on the seats. Just more fondant. I made this like a really Christmas, like a holly green. Oh, I like that. We got three seats. You can fit probably like two, three people, even though Santa Claus always rides alone. I don't know why he does that. I mean, does he have Pandora? Is he listening to Apple Music by himself? Who wants to jam out in a car by themselves? I don't know. After I added the seats, it was time to add all of details. So I'm creating all of these details with some mustard yellow fondant. I'm starting off with very small, very generic details, just strips. And then I just moved on to using my Waltons like decorating molds. Now the mold I'm using, Waltons doesn't even make it anymore, but you can find them on Amazon from another like off brand sort of company. I think it's cheaper. I don't know. I don't know why they would stop making it. It's beautiful. Uh, 
Now I wanted this cake to sparkle like no other. So I'm painting it with some vibrant ruby red luster dust. And I wanted to keep this plain and give it just a tiny bit more detail. So I'm painting on some designs with a crimson red luster dust. Look at that. Simple, but when you look at it up close, it looks pretty stunning. After that, it was time to add some gold luster dust to all of my mustard yellow fondant. This is what really upgrades it. This is what upgraded the Cinderella carriage cake and it upgrades this sleigh tenfold. Painting on luster dust is one of my favorite things to do. That's why I overuse luster dust <laughs> as much as I can on my cakes. I just love the way it shines and it makes everything look more elegant. You have something that looks like trash, just throw a little bit of luster dust on it and it looks so much better. <laughs> so I added some white melted candy melts directly onto my cake board and I'm just going to stand my sleigh runners on top of it. So when the candy melts solidify, it'll just hold it in place. I made these with fondant and a ton of CMC. I wanted to make sure that these didn't break. I was so scared that they would. The same panic that I had when creating the Cinderella carriage cake, I had that even more here because these pieces were huge. Now just like my sleigh, I'm going to paint luster dust all over these babies. And it makes it really look elegant, man. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of snow to the bottom and voila, my Santa's sleigh was complete. Da -da. This is the best sleigh I've ever seen. Actually, let me go to Google Images and I'm going to search Santa's sleigh. Okay, that looks okay. That one looks pretty nice. Some of them look okay. Um, but I, th I think that mine looks better. <laughs> so this really is the best lay I've ever seen. <laughs> I love the simplicity in the color palette. We have gold, we have this really brilliant looking ruby red, and then we have this holly green. And the fact that the holly green is very flat in shine compared to the gold and the ruby, it just, it just looks so balanced. If I become a billionaire, the first thing I'm gonna do is recreate this sleigh in like human size, life size. And I'm gonna ride it down Rodeo Drive in the middle of summer and everyone's gonna watch me. Who wants to ride a sleigh like this at night during winter with no cover whatsoever? I don't care how thick your coat is, that is crazy. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it and re-watching the footage from a year ago. Now I'm curious, what sort of detailed creation would you like to see me make next? After watching this, I think I really want to make the Polar Express next. I love you guys, I will see you very soon. Peace!